Hey guys, Gavin Robinson here. About to show you all you know, quickly how to set up a Facebook fan page. It's pretty simple. Um, you definitely need to have a Facebook profile first and foremost. And after that, once you log into your account, you're going to come to the top right hand side here. Click on this arrow, hit create fan page, or sorry, create page, right? And select one of these categories based on, you know, what is you're really trying to accomplish. If you've got a local business, choose that, brand, entertainment. It's like for if you have a radio station, and, um, you know, magazines and stuff. Um, you got, if you're a musician, you can choose this. But for demo purposes, I'm going to use the company, organization, and institution. And uh, select something in the travel niche. All right. Um, let's think about you know, the company name now. Um, global, global travel experience. All right. Um, get started and then you simply add your URL if you have a URL website and then you know obviously some quick words uh, telling people what your page is all about so uh, let me just type something quick here um, providing the best travel experience all right, save information, or you can skip it if you don't have all the info there. All right, upload a picture from your computer or import from the website. I'm going to skip this for now. And you can add the favorites for easy access so that when you log into your Facebook profile on the left hand side, you're going to see your page right there. So you don't have to go searching all over for it. It's going to be right there on the left by events and messages, right? So I'm going to skip this. And the preferred page audience. This comes in pretty handy for when you decide to if you decide to run ads for your page. So you can actually choose the type of audience you want to target. You know, uh, obviously based on what you're offering, all ages and 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 gender may not apply. So you can specific, uh, specify that here. Um, country as well All right so and just skip that and there you have it your page is well, obviously it's not really ready but you know these are stuff that you can actually go back and edit there on and you get some um, Facebook pop-ups and give you some navigation help so you can add the website anytime the about information um, the photo you can change at any time and if you wouldn't want to get a cover photo I guess a cool place you can start if you don't have a graphic designer right now is canva.com c-a-n-v-a.com right and all you, have, all you need to do is click on the Facebook cover template right here you have your dimensions 851 by 315 and once you click on there you're gonna bring up um, I think it's some templates. Let me see. Here are some templates that you can use. Well, obviously, you want something that applies to your niche. So you can upload your own photos. All right. So I could come here, upload my own photo, and then if I want, you know, add some text. I actually write the name of the business here if I want, and so on. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. And you know, for setting up. And, Okay, oh yeah, I forget to show you guys one thing too, which is pretty important. Um, you know, over time your Facebook fan page is going to build, you know, a following. Uh, what you want to do just to safeguard, because you don't never know what can happen. Let's say your, God forbid, you know, your account gets hacked, you know, uh, and you got so many customers and people following you know, what you want to do is add an admin to your, um, to your, pro, uh, to your page, right? So that in the event your main account, you know, you get trouble with that, you have a secondary person to manage it, or you can do like me. What I did is actually create a second Facebook um, account, right, and add it as an admin, so that 
know, something happens to your main profile, you still have access to your page. All right? So thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Peace.